Hi, I'm Mark Miller, Chief Scientist at DevExpress, head of the Code Rush team. I've been writing tools for developers for over three decades. And for the last quarter century, I've been searching for what I call the holy grail of developer tools. An elusive feature, arguably impossible to build, but one that could bring fundamental change and radically improve the way we explain the code we write and the challenges we solve every day. In C Sharp, Visual Basic, F Sharp, HTML, JavaScript, and more. Today I'm proud to announce that at DevExpress, we finally appear to have found that holy grail. Or rather, we found a really clever way to build it inside Visual Studio. Let me show you. Here's a simple game I built in JavaScript. I get to pop balloons. Yay! The source code's over here in Visual Studio. Now, in honor of the .NET conference, I thought I would take this image, which I really love, with this super cute robot overlord, and combine it with something else I really love. Source code. So I'm just going to right-click the image and choose Copy, then go inside my HTML, and inside a comment, I'm going to just paste. Now, at this point, you might be a bit surprised, and this might even seem a little curious. You can't mix images with source code, everybody knows that, and yet, the image really seems to be here. I can click on it, resize it, crop it, edit the code around it. It looks and feels functionally similar to embedded images in any Office application. Now, you might be wondering, how is this magic happening? And that's a great question. I'll show you how you can learn more about the tech behind this before the segment's over. But I want to assure you that this magic is happening without impacting file size, editor performance, or compile times. And it works effortlessly with version control, so embedded images can be shared, seen, and even edited by every member of your team. Let's look at some of the cool things you can do now that we've propelled source code way into the future, beyond the limits of everyday plain text. Here's a JavaScript class that can tell if a projectile moving in a straight line will hit a flat plane. This is the function right here. At first glance, it's not immediately obvious how this function determines the line-plane intersection. It's got three different returns, a null, a line, and a point. The code appears confusing and seems to lack clarity. Well, look, there's a link in the code up above. Oh, I see. Lines can intersect planes in three different ways. Let's copy this image and paste it into our code, right here, and crop it. Nice. Now let's copy that, and paste it here, and crop again. Excellent. One last time. Easy. Now we've taken a function that was hard to understand, and introduced clarity. Nice. Now let's switch over to F Sharp where I'm smack dab in the middle of a function that calculates the distance between two points on planet Earth. And cool, look, a helpful f -sharp developer has already added a mathematical formula to make this code easier to read and understand. Since I'm more of an expert in math than I am F-sharp, this is going to help me get up to speed with this code much faster. Oh, and look here, there's a link on this formula. What happens if I click it? Cool, now I can learn more about the formula. Let's grab this picture and paste it into my source code. Hide the leading comment delimiters with a back tick and center it on the page. Very cool. This source code is documenting itself with pictures. Thanks for watching. For more information on this technology, visit devexpress.com slash holy grail and have a great .NET conference.